Hi folks, welcome to Fat Loss Tips and Tricks. I'm George Tannis of Workout Solutions. And today it's going to be a very important and uh, very informative video. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to get the message across uh, because I can see a lot of people are, are, are not getting it. Um, I'm getting a lot of hate mail from a lot of uh, doctors and nutritionists and whatnot uh, about uh, some of my theories. Uh, so I can definitely see that a lot of people are not getting it, um, but I, hopefully that you will get it after this video. What I'm going to be discussing is uh, nutrient partitioning, nutrient partitioning of calories. What does this mean? When we're eating calories, um, where are these calories going to go? What are they going to do? Um, is it going to create... Um, a, uh, an environment where you're um, gaining fat or is it going to create an environment where you're losing fat and gaining muscle okay obviously gaining fat would be um, negative partitioning and gaining muscle would be positive partitioning and losing fat and gaining muscle would again be uh, positive partitioning um, let me take a quote from um, uh, a study uh, changing the macronutrient composition of an individual's diet can result in weight loss despite the ingestion of the same amount of energy and um, this study is called uh, macronutrient considerations for the sport of bodybuilding okay um, so basically what this means is that even though you're eating the same amount of calories if you played around with um, the macronutrient ratios your carbs your protein uh, your fat, you can create an environment that will either uh, uh, cause negative partitioning, gaining weight, or positive partitioning, uh, losing fat and, and gaining muscle, okay? So don't always have to uh, lower your calories. I mean, obviously, if you're eating a gross amount of calories, sure, um, but um, it's not always the case where you have to lower your calories and exercise more, okay? Um, playing around with your macronutrient uh, ratio um, would probably be the best place to start if you've already uh, established that you're eating too much. Uh, for example, uh, most dietitians will recommend a diet of 60% carbohydrates, 15% protein, 15% uh, fat. Well, you're trying to lose weight, right? You're trying to lose fat. Well. If you're deficient in protein, is your body going to be optimally uh, burning fat? No. Uh, studies show that uh, you have to uh, increase your protein uh, in order to uh, protect muscle, build muscle, and burn fat. Um, and again, uh, what if you're insulin resistant? Uh, do you really need a diet of 60% carbohydrates? I doubt it. Okay. Um, if you're insulin resistant, uh, probably the best thing to do is uh, lower your carbohydrates, increase your proteins, increase your good fats, and um, this is this is this is it. And this is what I'm getting at. What is making you gain weight? What is making you uh, fat? Are you? Is your strategy? Is your plan uh, attacking what's making you fat? Okay. If you're insulin resistant and your dietitian or your trainer or your doctor has you on a high carbohydrate diet. Uh, I'm not aware of too many uh, studies that show that high carbohydrate diets uh, deal with this issue. Okay, uh, low carbohydrates will help you with these issues, amongst other things too. Okay, um, well, let's just keep this the same: 60% carbs, 15% protein, 15% fat. And let's assume that this is uh, maintaining your 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 body weight, maintaining your muscle and your your fat. Okay, your 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 steady. What would happen if uh, this person um, is um, eating 20 grams a day of fructose? What if I was to uh, take out other forms of carbohydrates from the diet and add another 20 gram of fructose, okay? For a total of 40 grams of fructose a day, okay? Uh, do you think this person uh, created a better environment for maintaining the weight or losing fat or gaining muscle, uh, positive versus negative partitioning? No, because fructose is known to be a, a negative partitioning agent, okay? Uh, it upregulates the enzymes and the genes uh, that will make you fat, okay? 
and uh, some studies have even shown our, um, the enzymes and genes that it's uh, regulating are also uh, going to make you lose muscle, okay? So even though you've kept everything the same, okay, uh, even the macronutrient ratio, you can change around your carbs, okay? There's different types of carbs, okay? Um, again, what if you kept everything the same and you went on a, a, a low, you changed all your carbs to low glycemic or low, low, low glycemic load, okay? Um, this would most likely create uh, a positive uh, nutrient partitioning situation, okay? Um, now, what if you decreased your carbohydrates and increased your protein? Well, this has also been shown to cause positive partitioning, okay? Um, are you deficient in good fats, okay? Uh, is, is there too many bad fats in your diet, okay? Um, trans fats uh, can cause negative partitioning, okay? Strongly, okay? Um, so even though you've kept everything the same, uh, just playing around with what's in the macronutrients can, can help you uh, create uh, a positive nutrient partitioning uh, environment. Um, but in my practice, I've also uh, expanded um, what I mean by partitioning, okay? Uh, it's not just a diet that I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking at other things as well, lifestyle choices. Um, are you sleeping good, okay? Um, are you sleeping too long, too short, medium? Is there an optimal range for you? Um, reducing your sleep can um, create a negative partitioning environment, okay? Um, so this is a, this this comes into a lifestyle factor, okay? Um, regardless of the diet are you on, um, is it creating inflammation in your body? Uh, there was a study that came out uh, yesterday, um, uh, an article, sorry, where scientists are looking at uh, genes and what effect they have um, on your health, okay? Um, it wasn't too good for the carbohydrate guys because uh, a lot of uh, eating a lot of carbohydrates increase the genes that um, will increase your chance of uh, heart disease and um, uh, diabetes and cancer okay so you know I'm sure one day you're going to be looking past a diet just for the sake of losing fat I mean there's a lot of health issues here too um, and your health status will affect uh, your your uh, partitioning of calories, okay? Um, any type of sickness or even the common cold or uh, these things will all have a negative or positive consequence on what your body is doing with these calories, okay? What about medications? Is your medication causing negative or positive partitioning, okay? Um, what about vitamins and minerals? Are you deficient in something? Okay, um, we're looking at studies now where being deficient in vitamin D uh, can um, slow down your rate of fat loss, slow down your rate to uh, build or even maintain muscle, lose muscle, gain fat, the whole thing. Vitamin C, vitamin D is very interesting. Um, so uh, it's just it's just not your macronutrient ratio, your protein, your carbs, and your fat. Uh, there's other things involved here too. Okay. Um, is your diet and exercise program reducing your resting metabolic rate? Well, now you're burning less calories, okay, per day uh, during exercise. Um, what effect is this going to have on you when you start eating normally again or you give up the diet, okay? Um, you're going to be eating the same amount of calories as you did previously, but now your resting metabolic rate is lower, okay? Bad news. This is going to create a negative partitioning environment, okay? Um, what about hormones, okay? Your growth hormone, your testosterone, your thyroid, um, um, other stuff, uh, leptin, dopamine, uh, your catecholamines, uh, and on and on and on. Will these negatively or positively affect your uh, partitioning of calories? Of course, okay? Um, is there ways to manipulate this? Of course, this is what a, a real person uh, should be helping you with, you know, a real professional, this is what they should be concerned about, okay? Um, not just lowering calories and exercising more. If your exercise program is lowering your testosterone, and testosterone, low testosterone is correlated with fat gains, well, yeah, maybe in the, maybe in the first 12 weeks of working with this person, you will lose a lot of weight, okay? Um, 
meaning muscle and fat. But what happens after the, the 12 weeks later? Uh, the consequences uh, could materialize after, okay? And you're no longer working with this person, so they're no longer going to hear uh, your problems. Um, what about thermogenic uh, effect of food, okay? Uh, some, some foods are more thermogenic than others, okay? Um, I mean, this goes back to what I said earlier on in the video. Uh, are you insulin resistant? Well, if you are, uh, will carbohydrates have such a thermogenic response? No, <laughs> I doubt it. But what about protein? We know protein can elevate uh, thermogenesis and protein synthesis, and this creates a positive partitioning environment, okay? Um, if your exercise program is causing any negatives, uh, hormonal imbalance, uh, bone mass loss, uh, muscle loss, uh, um, you know, these things here, this is what I would call negative partitioning, okay? Uh, you might be seeing a, a, a positive effect on the weight scale, because I know a lot of people are jumping on the scale and saying, hey, I lost five pounds, this diet's working, this plan is working. But you don't really know where those fat, uh, five pounds came from, do you? Okay. Um, again, you might be happy in the first 12 weeks, but what happens after that? And that's why a lot of people are weight cycling, yo-yo dieting. Uh, the plan they're on is not a long-term strategy to combat some of the, the, the damaging effects of what dieting uh, in fat loss can do. Okay. Um, what about when you're releasing fat, okay? Uh, you're storing toxins in your fat cells. These toxins are gonna be released back into the system, okay? Um, these toxins uh, are known to cause uh, negative partitioning, okay? So does your plan have a detoxification plan, okay? How are you gonna, how are you gonna deal with this uh, new, release, new release toxins in your blood? Um, this is what your program has to deal with. Uh, what are you doing with the toxins in the environment, in your food, um, your water, everywhere, okay? Uh, these are negative partition agents, okay? Um, again, what if you kept the same diet and one diet for three weeks uh, was totally organic, no pesticides, no nothing, and then for three weeks I put you on a diet um, where all the vegetables came from uh, some pesticide farm, okay? Do you really think you're gonna be uh, not uh, in a negative partitioning environment with uh, all these pesticides and uh, um, all these chemicals in your food? Of course not. That's not going to be good. MSG. MSG is another negative partitioning agent. Uh, our food supply is laced with uh, MSG. Okay. Um, these are some of the things that you have to think about and make sure. Uh, hopefully you've learned something from this video and if you're working with uh, uh, another professional, bring up these issues if they haven't, okay? Keep them on their toes, okay? Um, if somebody's got you on a high carb diet and you're insulin resistant, let them know, bring the studies to them, okay? Hopefully, um, a lot of my articles on my sites um, will make you more aware so you don't get ripped off uh, by other uh, coaches and uh, doctors and dietitians or whatever, okay? That's what my sites are all about, educating you, okay? Be well informed. There's a lot of lies out there, um, a lot of garbage, and um, hopefully hopefully you learned something today in this video. Hopefully my videos are, um, are uh, opening your eyes up to many things and being helpful towards your goals. Um, There'll be a lot more uh, negative partitioning, positive partitioning. That's what this uh, site's going to be about. Things that help you uh, lower your fat mass and gain muscle, okay? Um, in a non, or at least the least damaging way, okay? Nobody said losing weight was uh, uh, without any risks. Like I said, you're, you're releasing toxins and stuff in your blood. Uh, you can create a lot of uh, metabolic damage, uh, hormone imbalances, whatnot. Uh, these are the things that I'm concerned about and the things that you should be concerned about and any professional being concerned about. Um, so, I'll end it there. Um, if you need any consultations, uh, email me at workoutsolutionscoach at gmail.com. Um, more fat loss tips and tricks here uh, at Facebook, fat loss tips and tricks at Facebook. And... Um, 
Uh, cheers.